Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to write a simple message driven thing program and execute it. So for executing the message driven being program I will be using one EJB project that will have the message driven being and one client project. So through the client we will be sending one message to the uh, message driven being and we will check if it is getting that particular message or not means we will try to print it in console so first we will go to file then new like after new we have to go on others I will go on others over here and I will select the KGB project okay click on next and I will give it giving it a name like MDB12 then I will click on next next finish so kind of if you want to prospect no I don't want this so this is our project and under this EJV module we need to create the message to me so I will go to others see under this EJV I'm having this message driven bin option so you need to select this click here give it a package name like let it be x y and z class name I will give as mdb super class you don't want destination name it is required so give it a name like q1 and just see that the destination type is q only okay then click on next finish you will get this code just remove these comments and this constructor it's not required this on message method is something that will be triggered each time uh, the client sends message okay so under this method only we will put our code so start with try catch block so that if any error occurs then we will get to know what is it here I have something like uh, it will be receiving the message and typecast it to text message and this is the object so using this object we will try to get the text so the method is msg like the object dot get text what it will do it will uh, get you the text it will retrieve the text what the client is sending so if the client is something like hello so when this particular message when being is running in glassway server in the console it will print something like mdb got message after that hello means whatever the client is sending this particular uh, method will retrieve that and print it in console okay but uh, as i can see over here and you can also see uh, like there is some error so i need to import this like import text message click here it's automatically added over here save so here uh, I need to map uh, like I need to configure the JMS resources okay so first I will try to run this particular project as uh, like web application in the glassfish server so what I will do I'll click here mdb12 this is my project I will click on run as then run on server uh, the class is selected I will click on next ok it's configured and then next so let's see if there is any error or something like that so now I will show you how to configure the JMS resources ok so right after starting the server you need to open the page like it will be localhost but with port 4848 yes. here 
here we have our glass switch console so in this particular console we need to look for the resource and under the resource we have JMS resources okay so in the JMS resource I will first uh, set the connection factory then the destination resource so I will set the connection factory as I will click new and it's already actually I did it earlier also so it is GF connection factory and I will click select this Q connection factory just check if this uh, checkbox is selected then press ok once it is done you will see it in the list like JMS connection factories so here the number of connection factories will be listed what you have added now I will click on this destination resource and I will add a new resource so that name I want to give is Q1 because in the program also I have used the same name I will copy it and I will give the physical destination name same and here I will select the topic like instead of topic it will be Q the resource type and description I don't want to give anything this need to be enabled and then click on ok so that's it uh, the JMS uh, resource configuration now I will show you how to create the client project file the new then click this Java project give it a name like in my case I will be giving like db dual client I will click on next ok and in the library I will try to add the jar files at the start only you can do it later on also but, uh, using that uh, build path from properties then build path and then adding those jar files so at the beginning only I am adding those files click finish So here I am having the client project also to open it and under this SRC I will be creating a class. Class will be having name like uh, let it be mdb client. I need this public static point main. Next finish. can see that I'm having the main function over here public setting so under this I'll be having one try catch block and within that try class block I will do I will write the code okay so this is it so you can see like uh, for the Q connection factory it is looking for the GF connection factory what we have set over there in the glasses control sim the destination path what we have set in both the JMS uh, resources like destination and the same name is in the program like the message driven being program right so there are few errors because we have not imported particular libraries so import here I have imported the necessary libraries and because of that all the error it's done ok and it's working fine like no error is there as you can see yeah nothing is there so now I will try to execute this it will be run as a java application so let's see wait for a few seconds like it will take some time to compile and then execute so 
don't get confused because this is running this mdb12 this is the ejb project which is having the message driven pin this is having its own console and this mdb12 uh, client is running separately so it is having a different console okay so you need to switch between the two console to see like what's going on so for this like for mdb12 client we have this console right and it is showing the message sent so we have to check it whether the message driven being has received that particular message or not right so what we will do we will go over here and see uh, the mdb12 like the message driven being program is running on glassfish so i will select here and this is the message right hi from client like hi from client and mdb got message so if we open the program like mdb got message and then it is it should show the rest of the text that we have passed it for today thank you